I'm Yoshi. Uh, I'm head of the uh, Japan's uh, business development, and also the, I'm leading the Go Global project as well. So today, so as we as we talk about the Google Play is a great place to distribute your applications, then you can choose whatever you want, like publish your uh, application to everywhere. But uh, today, I would like to uh, discuss about the framework of the Go Global. It's more like uh, I'm I making the, uh, the framework on this slide, then I would like to uh, explain about each uh, sections about what we need to think about to go global. Then after I explain about the Go Global framework, then uh, today we invited the gorgeous uh, panelists today. Then let's ask the, about the, uh, their Go Global strategies. All right, let's move on. So first of all, select the light market. This is the most important work for your strategy. So we define the market like uh, established market, like we call like matured market, also the rising stars market, which called, we call like emerging market. So for instance, the established markets, US, Japan, Korea, Taiwan. So they, they have a many uh, the specific uh, stuff. But the, uh, it's one thing is it's a high output users in there. Then rising stars market is monetizes still uh, compared with the US, Japan's. Then monetizes not that much, but the uh, user uh, base is going glow fast. And also the insole base is pretty uh, glowing fast. So that's the, uh, we separated two uh, categories. And also, you know, then each market is different uh, phase. For instance, US has a different phase, like different users' preference. In Japan also, Korea is also the difference. So segment is different. Also, the, each country is also the same, uh, the different, uh, different phases. So let's see the each like, market. For instance, like Japan market. So this is the top ranking of the Japan. Then it looks like Almost Japanese developers uh, are in the top ranking. Then Supercell in here. Then it seems like cute icon is popular in the Japan market. Then probably you put the cute icons in or cute characters on the your icons. Then that much, uh, that would be the good for the Japanese users. Then go to the Korean market. Then it seems like more uh, Western developers doing uh, good on the top ranking. Also, some cute characters, but also some serious guys in top ranking. That's a Korean market. Then let's move on to uh, emerging market. So this is a Brazil. So it seems like uh, it's more like uh, Western developers doing very well in the Brazil market. And uh, seems like uh, Clash of Clans and also Clash of Kings and Samurai's War is doing well. So those kind of like uh, P PVP stuff and also the import market seems like. So this is the Brazil market. Then this is Indonesia. It seems like uh, similar with the Brazil market but uh, more, we can see more cute characters, cute icons on here. So it's more mixed market, we can say. So those market specific, like uh, specific, understand that those market stuff, then uh, decided where should we go to the market. So that's the select light market. Then next move on, the plan your approach. So, once you decided to go to specific market like Japan or Korea, then uh, you need to figure out how to uh, fit that market. So you should go with original titles, original uh, graphics, go to that market, or change the, your uh, graphics to go that market. So that's the decisions make you need, but uh, this is agent, agent test and Western taste. So 
So agent test is more cute and then complicated UI, but more efficient, and then port late more, and then Western test is more like uh, landscape and the more simple UIs. This is on the game. Also, the material design, also the uh, good fit in everywhere. So you, you need to, uh, you need to uh, localize on the, your services, but the design-wise, you don't need to figure out that much. Use the material design, it's, that's, the, that's more efficient. Then move on the next, localize your applications, then don't just translate. So this is most important part as well. So we uh, define the level one, two, three on the uh, localizations. So level one is just simple. Just go to the market. Just quick check the, your application to publish to those market. Then see how does it work. Then level two is more uh, go uh, more local. So for instance, like. Uh, change the, your descriptions in the local languages, uh, change the, your screenshot, or change the icons to the market, then change the, your uh, applications uh, text in the local languages. So that's a level two. Then level three is go native, then more like uh, local relevant contents. So for instance, put the local relevant contents in the, your application, like with Japanese characters or Koreans uh, event in that level three then get more uh, user thinking about their local users. Then, uh, so that, that level is level one, two, three. So you can step up to level one, to level two, level three, or you can go through level three dialect from nothing. But uh, we're encouraged to uh, check the your localized uh, description with the native check. So if you don't have a native check, then looks like uh, from the local users, then looks like this kind of stuff. So graphics, okay, sounds like great, but localizations, it seems like question mark. So that's from the local users point. So we recommend to use the native check on that side. So they make more uh, graphic sounds and localization is great. So that's a metaphor, but that looks like from the local users. Then this is the, my recommendations to the uh, stores. So I separate the store listing, also the in-app games. And this is uh, Japan's Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Brazil, Indonesia. So we recommended the languages, what we need to uh, localize in for their users. So this is, uh, is one of the opini opinion from me, but this is it's too obvious, but this is make sure you're uh, going to that market. Then localize the, uh, the success uh, story is the music smudge. So they localize, we discuss a lot in Japan market, about the Japan market, then we change, they change the video trailer, titles, then icons, description, also the key images on the screenshot. They put the uh, local talent and the local contents, then put the local languages in their screenshot. Then they got their, uh, they got a ranking number one in the music category in Japan from 50. Also, it's not only for localization. Also, I recommend to think about the connection, connectivity in the each market. If you want to go to uh, emerging market, then you need to figure out the uh, connection speed as well. So for instance, APK size might be smaller, is more good for the, uh, those emerging market. Then after the download and content file size or data friendly, or, and then also the local pricing, uh, as Timzin uh, mentioned that. So those kind of uh, KPI is we need to figure out if you want to go to the emerging market. So support local users. So it's more easy. 
but they support local users in the local languages. That's an important uh, fact to go uh, local uh, market. So this is a Korean developers uh, replying the users in Japanese. This is important for uh, going global. Then uh, launch test and iterate. So as we uh, talk about like ex experiments, A-B testing, then acquisition channel, and also uh, localizations, this is like keep continue to doing, so keep continue to improving. So this loop is important for the Go Global as well. So this is the uh, good example for the apps. So they did the experiments on the, uh, our Play Developer Console. Then winner icon is uh, the more simple ones. Then 41% increase of the download. And also this is the, uh, the game screenshot. Then uh, before, and they tried a several type of the screenshot, then they got a good numbers of the improve. So that's the, uh, the, AB, the experiments is important things for you know, checking on the localizations or localize of the use screenshot and the goal global start strategies. So this is before, after, finally. So, so they put the all good improve the numbers of the uh, result, then they change their uh, screenshot and after. So, so leverage our local market experts. We have the several people in this venue, so please reach out those guys, then ask the, your uh, strategy stuff. Right. So that's the, uh, my presentations. Then, then. <laughs>